Hello friends and welcome to Digimento. So today we'll be taking up a very important uh, current affair and also very interesting topic that is the military capacity, the comparison of the military capacities of two countries that is India and China. So we will see how the military capacities of India and China uh, are different and also these two countries are the top spenders in defense expenditure. So we'll be looking into it in detail uh, in this lecture and if you have not uh, subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to our channel and also so please press the bell icon for getting more notifications for uh, getting such similar videos. Also, please do share this video with your friends if you have uh, found this video to be helpful to you. So let's begin. So here, uh, today we'll be discussing about India versus China with regard to the military capacities. So with regard to military capacities or defense capacities, we will see what is the uh, degree of uh, military infrastructure that India has and also we will compare it with China. So before that uh, two important things one is uh, the findings of the SIPRI report. Now SIPRI uh, it refers to Stockholm International Peace Research Institute. So this is SIPRI Stockholm International Peace Research Institute basically they conduct research in various fields and uh, one such research conducted was regarding the military capacities or the defense capacities of different countries. According to the SIPRI, India has the third biggest budget. So, we are the third largest uh, spenders in defense expenditure and uh, our uh, bu uh, budget, defense budget is 71.1 billion dollars. But um, the second one is China and uh, so according to this report, the first major military spender is US second one is China, third one is India. So basically even though India being third and second is China, the difference between the military expenditure of both these countries are very high. So the difference, so China is spending around 261 billion dollars whereas India spends around 71.1 billion dollars. So even though they have the second and third positions, China having second position and India having third position, the difference between the defense expenditure of both these countries are different. So we will be analyzing that in detail in this lecture. But before we move into the military capacities, let's also first understand uh, what are the eligibility conditions for joining the defense in China and in India. Now with regard to China, uh, the minimum uh, age or the minimum and the maximum age is 18 to 24 years of age for selective compulsory military service and there is a two year service obligation. So this is with regard to China and there is no minimum age for voluntary service and 18 to 19 years of age for women high school graduates who meet requirements for specific military jobs and also very important, this is very important, even though all the other things that we discussed, you can just take it casually. But very important is that recently a decision was made to include women in the uh, combat roles. Now, what is meant by combat roles? Combat roles means uh, directly fighting with the enemy. So it can be in person or using weapons. But combat roles means directly fighting with the enemy. Let's take some examples. For example, during a war, fighting directly with an enemy, maybe uh, using weapons or without using weapons. So uh, this is called combat roles. Now why I told you this is important is because recently Supreme Court of India, uh, Supreme Court in India has allowed women to join the military as officers but only for non-combat -com roles. So here the comparison is very important that in China the women are allowed to uh, become officers even in combat roles. But in India, we are not allowed to, uh, you know, um, recruit women into combat roles uh, as the officers. So this is one major difference between India and China. But uh, there are other things which needs to be understood here. We cannot just simply say that uh, China has such a provision why India does not have. There are different uh, uh, you know background to it background stories to it one reason can be that uh, the training given in china and india is entirely different so rigorous training is given in china not that india does not give rigorous training but the training in terms of its uh, severity it's high in china again 
uh this was this decision to include women in combat roles in china this was not taken o- uh, over a night uh, or the decision was not taken suddenly so we need to prepare uh, our country and our military capacities to include women in the combat roles officers in the combat roles so uh, i will discuss that if needed in a different lecture but please understand that in china women are allowed in combat roles but in india officers are not allowed women officers are not allowed in combat roles so this is regarding china now let's come to india uh, the age is 16 to 18 years of age for voluntary military service so for army it's uh, 17.5 uh, Air Force seventeen and Navy sixteen point five, and no conscription. What is meant by conscription? Conscription means free or voluntary or we can say compulsory military service. So the best word uh, to describe conscription could be compulsory. So there is no provision for compulsory military service in India, whereas there are many countries where the military service is compulsory for its citizens. A very good example is Israel, and that is why the military capacity of Israel is very high. So the uh, even at a younger age, uh, the school going students itself or children itself have to um, do service in the defence sector. So that is why the defence Uh, infrastructure and the defense capacities of israel is very high as compared to many other countries so conscription means that compulsory military service given by the citizens so in india we do not have that otherwise if india had this compulsory military service you and me including us everyone should have given some at least some period of free and compulsory uh, it can be paid also but the point here is that compulsory every citizen is uh necessary to give military services to the state so in india we do not have that and women in india can join military as officers but only for non combat roles so for combat roles women are not allowed again we have discussed what is meant by combat roles combat roles means Uh, fighting with an enemy it can be using a weapon or uh, without using the weapon so this is the basic understanding that we need to have now uh, after understanding this let us come to the uh, comparison part so let's compare uh, first we will see the military strength so military strength first one uh, the strength in india and china so first one is regarding the active personnel active personnel serving the military so uh, in india it is 14 lakhs uh, whereas in china it is 22 lakhs so in case of active personnel china has more uh, strength than in india second is reserve personnel reserve personnel means those who are not active but if a need and emergency occurs then these personnel will be made use of so india has more reserve personnel than in china we have 21 lakhs of a uh, reserve personnel whereas in china it is 5 lakhs third is availability for military uh, number of people who are available for military in india is 34 lakhs whereas in china it is 27 lakhs okay these are the comparison especially with regard to personnel now uh, let's come to the infrastructure the defense infrastructure in india and china the number of tanks that india hold is uh, 4292 whereas in china it is 3500 now uh, one more thing that you need not study all these numbers i'm just giving you a understanding just a comparison uh, to know what are the uh, differences okay next one is regarding armored vehicles so uh, here we will see that with regard to armored vehicles the china's capacity is far ahead than india so in india it is only 8686 whereas in china it is 33000 next is self propelled artillery so self propelled artillery uh, means uh, which is propelled by self so here uh, in india we have only 235 whereas in china it is 3800 again far more higher than india next is field artillery in india it is 4060 and in china 3600 rocket projectors 266 whereas in china it is 2650 so uh, after uh, learning or after understanding these figures now you must be knowing that why there is a huge gap between india and china 
with regard to its military spending or defense expenditure even though china is second and india is third even though we have the third position next to china the gap between the military spending or the defense expenditure of both these countries are very wide and the basic reason is that the infrastructure the infrastructure uh, in china and india is incomparable so in china it is even higher than india in all all the possible comparisons now let's come to air force and within air force the combat aircraft in india and china if you compare again uh, china has more than double the number of combat aircraft than india then dedicated attack aircraft also here also we will see that uh, it's almost uh, triple or more than double here also so into two more than uh, double 172 in india and 371 in china regarding special mission planes that is certain aeroplanes which carry special missions in india it is 77 in china it is 111 helicopters is 722 and in china it's 911 helos is 23 and 281 in china so uh, these are certain uh, comparisons in actual numbers or figures now coming to navy aircraft carriers uh, in India, we have one, whereas in China, there are two aircraft carriers. Now, submarines, very important because the role of submarines are increasing these days, um, especially with regard to security, security of the nation, uh, patrolling, etc. India have only 16 submarines, whereas in China, it is 74. <laughs> and destroyers, India has 10, whereas China, 36. Frigates, 13 and China 52. Corvettes 19 and 50. Here we will see in everything, in every uh, Navy infrastructure, China is much much ahead of India and mine warfare, uh, warfare it's 3 in India and China it is 29. Coastal petrol 139 whereas in China it's 220. Now uh, with regard to Navy, if you look at in everything, in Army and uh, Air Force, we saw that um, there are at least some criteria in which India uh, is better than China. But then uh, when it comes to Navy, which is the most important these days, especially because of increasing threat from marine uh, sources, like for example, uh, you know, I, uh, the examples that I can give you would be like sea piracy. So uh, the threat uh, with regard to our marine resources are increasing. So Navy has its uh, uh, significant role here and also the importance of Navy is increasing. So uh, with regard to Navy, the China's capacities are even much higher than India. So this is the comparison, a very short video. I'm not going into all the details. So this is a basic comparison and uh, uh, we are providing online courses for uh, NTA net, UGC, uh, etc. So if you have any queries regarding that, you can call to this number or you can visit our website. Thank you.